Hi everyone, Nurse Nikki here at City Facial Plastics. I haven't filmed in a while because I had a lip lift by Dr. Linkoff, so I'm super excited to talk about it a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and show you a little bit of my journey, my healing journey. And it was great, I'm so excited to see myself at three months. So this is a procedure to actually lift the top of the lip and it gives better height to the cupid's bow. So for me personally, I decided to go with this surgery because it's preventative for me. I did not want to inject my lips anymore and and this just does it for me and I, and I love the results so far. Another reason for this surgery was because I really couldn't see any of my upper teeth when I smiled and I think I have beautiful teeth and I would love to show them more so I'm glad I got the surgery. So prior to my procedure I did dissolve all of my lip filler in the top and the bottom. Usually in office we just dissolve the top lip and that's just so we have a clean slate to work with before surgery. So the procedure is in the office and it's under local anesthesia. They gave me a numbing shot before so so just before the procedure, I felt that little pinch, but after that, I didn't feel a thing. I'm a naturally anxious person, so there is general anesthesia option, but I felt like it was not necessary. If you're anxious like me, you can ask your doctor to go ahead and prescribe something like a Valium to calm your nerves in the chair for a bit. So for my post-op care, Dr. Linkoff did prescribe me a steroid for any inflammatory issues. I did take antibiotics, painkillers. I did not need my painkillers. I just took extra strength Tylenol through the whole process. I had an antibiotic ointment to keep the sutures nice and moist. Uh, I did use hydrogen peroxide and after the hydrogen peroxide had no more fizzing on the incision, I switched to our Feel Confident Scar Gel and I'll show you that here. I did two weeks of soft food, so things like mashed potatoes, soft pasta, mashed fruit, a lot of yogurt, oatmeal, protein shakes, things like that. It's really important to stick with those soft foods and minimize your talking so we don't wanna get those muscles moving in the area. It's really important for the healing. It did take me about two weeks to kind of feel normal again, to talk normal, to chew normal, to look a little bit normal. So you're gonna need two weeks of downtime and I always say it's great to get the surgery now because we're still all wearing masks at work. Dr. Linkoff did inform me that it's going to take a period of three months to see my full result. And after the three months, I think I'm going to inject a little bit of HA filler just to maintain the shape, but I will not need nearly as much as I did before. So I'm really excited to see my results in three months. So let's take a little look into my healing journey. So as you can see day one, I'm slightly swollen. There's no bruising. I'm a little uncomfortable so I did take my extra strength Tylenol. It's not very painful, so I did not need my painkillers for this day, which I'm grateful for. Day two, I'm very swollen, still no bruising. It actually looks a lot worse than it feels. I did not need to take any Tylenol today, so that was really good for today. I just iced a bit. Day three, the peak of my swelling was day three. You're starting to see a little bit of bruising on my upper lip. Day four, still peak swelling and bruising, just ever so slightly, keeping my incision really nice and moist with my antibiotic ointment. Day five, same thing, the swelling is going down ever so slightly, the bruising is getting better, and I'm still keeping that incision nice and moist with antibiotic ointment. Day six, you're really starting to see the improvement in my swelling, the shape of the lip. My bruising is completely gone, and I'm really ready to take out my sutures at this point. Day seven, super excited, starting to look even better with the shape. Sutures are out, the swelling's gone down, no more bruising. Day 13, almost at my two week mark. My incision is immaculate. It's so thin, it's slightly pink, it's not red at all. I love the way Dr. Linkoff stitched it so beautifully. I'll show you a little side view because you could really see it up close and in good lighting. So there it is, I'm super excited. So after I no longer had the fizzing from the hydrogen peroxide on the incision, I used our Feel Confident Scar Gel. I used a pea size amount. I used a thin layer twice daily, once in the morning, once in the evening, over the scar area with a clean Q-tip. And I'll probably use this for about six months. Some of my favorite things about our Feel Confident Scar Gel are number one, it's cruelty free, so we love that. And one of the biggest differences from the old um, biocornium that I used to use 
is the matte finish. It's super important for the face just to reduce the visibility of it. And you can do a clean makeup application because it's fast drying. It's got a smooth application to it, as you can see. It's allergy tested with research-based ingredients. It's plastic surgeon formulated by Dr. Linkoff himself. It's dermatologist tested. And some of the natural ingredients that are incorporated in Feel Confident and that are top notch for wound healing are jojoba oil, sunflower seed oil, and calendula oil. So it has all three of those and it's wonderful for the scar. So I decided to go with Dr. Linkoff because he has natural results, his before and afters are wonderful, and his stitching is so immaculate. One of the things that really scared me with the lip lip procedure was all the videos out there and the stitching looked a little crazy. So I decided to go with him. I'm so glad I did. And it's a funny backstory. I applied for this job. I didn't even know that this was the surgeon I would be potentially working for, but I applied to an ad. It was very vague online. And when I came up to do my interview it was Dr. Linkoff so I'm really grateful that I was still able to do my surgery with him and now work for him. <laughs> so the reason I decided to go ahead and opt for surgery instead of injecting my lips anymore was because I've been doing it for about 10 years. If you're thinking about you know increasing the size of your lips or enhancing the shape or enhancing that cupid's bow this is a wonderful option for you and if you love the way your lips look injected you can also do it after the surgery we, we recommend three months after your healing so it's a great option if you wanted to change the anatomy of your lip shape that's something we can't do with filler thank you for watching this video i hope you found it useful if you have any comments just leave them below and i'll answer them don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you'd like to hear dr linkoff talk more about his signature lip lift technique click on the card here